Okay. Put my glasses on. Well, here we are. Hey, look. I got mail. This is, oh, <laughs> sorry. This is actually a, this is actually a card. I was at an event about on a race forward. Some, from the Center for Constitutional Rights last year, whatever have you. And, you know, you, you, this is an exercise they do in this, this a card that they give you. And you mail it to yourself, basically. That's what I did. And it says, I am, I am a commitment to. I am a commitment to. And then you write out what you're a commitment to. So I am a commitment to a scheduling of the debt due American descendants of slavery. That's what I wrote on the card. You see, then it sends it myself. And then the card, the front of the card says, uh, there is no path to justice without adequate remedy to repair the material harms and the perpetual legacy of slavery. What am I? I, I drank a little bit of sweaty stuff. Some, uh, some uh, 10 grams protein. Uh, almond, cashew, drinky, thingy. I'm not even going to read this. What's in it? Stuff is in it, you know? So I read ingredients. Almond milk, filtered water, almonds, cashew milk, filtered water, cashews, cane sugar, pea protein? Pea protein? That's P-E-A. Pea protein? Hmm. Uh, something blah, 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 so blah, 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 Okay, great. Anyway, well, it's dark chocolate. That's all I know. And I love dark chocolate. Oh, you know, um... This is uh, I'm gonna. Uh, this is gonna be. I'm only gonna. I'm gonna broadcast. This is a ADOS, you know, in my ADOS playlist thing. But uh, I'm I'm gonna suspend this ADOS set, if you will. I will be recording in the backyard once once a day instead of twice. You know, once a day uh, on various topics. You know, but I'll be more calm now because um, I'm setting up this. This area is gonna be set up for. Uh, an altar um, for my brother. It's out of the Yoruba culture, you know. My, my spiritual it doesn't matter. I have ties to Yoruba culture, so I want to. I'd rather send him a uh, transition, you know, my brother uh, uh, through the Yoruba culture, the Yoruba pantheon, the Yoruba way of doing things. But this is I'm gonna, one of the things you have to set up an altar. And I have to have a picture. So this is a picture that I want to put with the thing, you know. I have pictures of my, I would, you know, whatever. But this one I particularly like. It's from the from the seventies, I think, late seventies. Uh, my sister. Uh, she at the time she was taking she was doing photography you know she had all the dark you know they, you've set up the dark room you know whatever have she had all that stuff so anyways this is a great picture from them putting this live on the altar actually we'll live in this room because this is my grandmother's picture is up there so this is a very peaceful room actually so uh, when the altar is done it'll be nine days I have to I won't be well nine days and then things will go back to normal but then this picture itself will be left you know with uh, you know on the you know with my grandmother. So this happening, but here's what I wanted to tell you: so, so, so many fantastic this this movement for the liberation for the for, for, for liberation of humanity away from this this uh, uh, crony capitalist this this you know we want to send you the feudal times system you know we, we, we people ain't having it you know anyway but I was thinking um, there, there are so many good things like one of the things I really fan love at first is uh, Jennifer Lewis the actress. Uh, she did this song in the tradition of Nina Simone. That's what I say. I say, take your knee off my neck. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put a link to it. It's I, I just so powerful. What if Jennifer Lewis get that? But there's another one by the the boxer. Dante, you know, uh, 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 um, the boxer uh, Dante Wilder. Dante Wilder. He did a poem. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, he, it's so good. I'm, I'm gonna, when I finish this, I'm going to watch it again. I just like watching him do that thing. But I was thinking, there's this, there was this moment that the, one of the films, uh, you know, films I, I really like is that the original version of The Longest Yard, you know, the Burt Reynolds film, Eddie Albert is the warden, Burt Reynolds is the inmate, who, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, he's, he's uh, anyway, there's a, there's a whole corrupt, the corrupt jail system, whatever have you. But there's, they have a, a once a year, they have a, uh, a football game, the guards versus the inmates. So, you know, Burt Reynolds and then, of course, people bet and everything like that. But, but, but uh, 
So they, they're trying to get the team, the, the football team together, and, you know, the guards just going to beat you know, up on them. But some particular boy, the uh, the black inmates, they, they, say, they tell black boys, well, you know, I'm playing a football game, but, you know, you can beat up on the guards. Black inmates say, what? Who? <laughs> I guess they do it every year, but maybe they just got affected this year because they're a good a good quarterback or something like he just got incarcerated. Anyway, so so what happens at some point the black the black inmates join the football team, join the white people. Is this movement is like almost in, in reverse? You know, black people say, "Hey, what y'all gonna do?" So now the white people join. You know, they join for but but numbers. Black people have smaller, but they're strong. But they need more numbers, which is great. But but what's but the 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 tip of this, the, the spear in this, in this movement has to be black folks. White people just listen, okay? We don't want to listen to white people at once. You just listen. We will do the work. You listen, you know, just follow. We'll tell you what to do. So that's the, the, that to me. It should have had some other stuff there. Um, one of the things is, um, I would say this. This is interesting. Uh, as you may or may not know, I'm a long associate. Well, actually, I have a title. I'm Arts Director of Murders at WBA Radio in New York. It doesn't matter. But the community radio station, we had we used to have these conferences, not these kind of these day-long workshops, whatever, on certain things. One time, we had this day-long workshop. In the morning, we dealt with racism. Afternoon, we dealt with, um, I think it's gender and women and gender or something like that. Well, when we got to the afternoon, the, the women were saying like, well, just like black people, you know, just like black people, right? And then they got to the gender part, you know, of whatever they said, well, just like black people, I kept on hearing it all afternoon. At some point in the end of the afternoon, I do this stuff sometimes. I say, oh, look, if everything is just like black people, wouldn't it be best if you got rid of, if you dealt with racism, right, white supremacy, if you will, then when that's done, that's the house of cards. Everything else would fall. So deal with racism first, and everything else would be. So everybody should put put your energy. Look, if you're a woman's thing, or if you're you know, a, a gay rights thing, or whatever you are, you know, labor. I don't care what it is, whatever your movement is, racism is at the bottom. So. So even if you solve this over here, if you still have racism, it's still there. You see, whatever it is. So what you what, what needs to be done is you got to stop racism. Then everything else will psh, go away. Simple. Hey. Anyway, who listens to little old me? <laughs> that was a long time ago. Um, but here's the other thing I was thinking. In my lifetime, you know, everybody, a lot of people die. So I just picked three, just three uh, noteworthy executions, if you will. Um, uh, no way to me. The first one uh, being uh, who, who's, who was shot by a rookie cop in the subway station on 35th Street and, and um, I guess it's Lennox Avenue with Malcolm X Boulevard now. Uh, on May 23rd, 1968, right between uh, uh, Marvin uh, Gaye, not Marvin Gaye, Martin Luther King dying and and, um, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Robert F. Kennedy, Henry Dumas, Henry Lee Dumas, Incredible writer, young man, wonderful poet. I'm a Dumas denizen, so you know, I, you know, so I, that's why I know. Anyway, shot by a rookie cop, dead. Another one in 1973, right? A 10 year old child, a baby, Clifford Glover out of Queens. Shot dead by a cop. His name is on my mind. Third name. Remember, there's a lot. I'm just picking three, right? This is really bad. October 29th, 1984. A grandmother in her project apartment a project's apartment. The, the police bust down the door and shotgunned this grandmother to execute it. Shotgunned this grandmother into oblivion. What a shotgun. Look, there really are no more words. You know, you, uh, um, tomorrow's Prince's birthday. This is, you know, in 1999, there's this thing. I don't want to, I don't want to die. Rather, I'd rather 
dance my life away. I don't want to die. I'd rather dance my life away. Why are you killing me? I don't want to die. I want to live. I want to have joy. I want to dance. Why are you who think you have the power? Like, I don't want to go to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I really want to stop here because, you know, the more you think about this stuff, it's like it's whatever it is. But know this, I really do hope this thing can be kept. Unfortunately, look, I mean, uh, I can't talk partake, not because of age uh, necessarily, uh, only because I'm in a, I'm in a 90 day mourning period. You know, it's actually going to start to, well, it started already, but, but, but the next nine days is a whole ceremony thing, whatever. But 90 days, I got to not do, I got to chill. I can't do blah, 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 blah. After that, phew, like that. But think about this. The more this goes on, the more the cops are being confronted. You know, these cops are exhausted. They have to be exhausted. The killing mentality, whatever, they they are exhausted. All kinds of cases have been happening. You know, the protests protecting the cops in, in, say, in, in, in Louisville, all kinds of things happening. You know, the, the whole thing about the agent provocateurs and, and, you know, and, and, and white supremacists and, and police plants, all that stuff is being drawn out. Right. Politicians mismanaging as usual. This whole thing. Everybody knows by now. Hey, wait a second. You gave all this money to your boys. And uh, what did we. Oof. I think even white people realizing, hey, you know, some they keep on practicing on black people. If they practice on black people, why, what do you think? They, and they got all this weaponry from a black person. Yes, it's Barack Obama. His administration, the one that weaponized that, that militarized the police force. If you want to really do something. Di- Take the weapons away from the cops, the tanks and all the rest of and dump it on Joe Biden and Barack Obama's lawns, million, whatever, multi-million dollar houses, lawns. It belongs to them. Just dump all that stuff. Just, just bury their homes, their property in the military equipment that you brought over to, to, to militarize even small police stations against the citizens, the citizenry. What kind of foolishness is that? It's Biden and Obama that did that. It's Obama. It's Biden. It's Biden. It's Biden. The system has got to go. No Trump, no Biden, no nobody. Get rid of these. It's got to go. It's got to fall. It's got to fall. It's got to fall. So says me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality of ADOS that would be the North American descendants of chattel slavery. We ain't playing, y'all. We coming.